We are live. Hey guys. Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to a special edition <laughs> of <to>. live. Live. <laughs> Um, I've actually wanted to make this video for a while. Yeah. We have had several talks about what I want to talk about, and every time we talk about it, I say, we really need to share this. Um, but we haven't. But we haven't. <laughs> uh, and yesterday we had an incident about this topic, and I said, we really got to talk about that. And then today we had it again. And... This, she's the one that's going to do the talking, but this really relates to what a lot of you are experiencing and what I am experiencing, right? Um, and we are going to eliminate having to talk about food, weight, and any of those things. So, uh, how long ago did you start this process? With this person or in general? In general. Okay, so, can I say what it is? We could talk about it. Okay. So, Junior is six, so about seven and a half years ago, um, maybe eight, but seven to seven and a half years ago, I got really bad, like, acne and just, it was, it's been a problem for me ever since then. So, I think once Junior was born and I was done breastfeeding is when I decided to start tackling the issue because I always attributed to being hormonal. So let's say five years ago is when I started to try to fix a problem that I have had, that I had at the time had had for three years. So seven years ago the problem started, five years ago I started dealing with it or trying to deal with it. Excellent. Okay. So how many of you can relate to dealing with your transformation or weight loss or food stuff for that long, right? That's, that's why I say it's connected. So seven years ago, she started dealing with it and she has tried many things. Many things. Just like all of you. All the things. She's tried all <laughs> the things. Right? Yes. Creams, lotions, oils. oils, oils. Insert thing. Now, really Doctors. important. Really important. Um, because we've talked about it several times, but we didn't talk about what we were going to talk about now. So this this will happen in real time. Oh, here we go. Um, my first question would be, how hard of an attempt did you give all of the things that you tried? Not. <laughs> not a hard attempt at all I think you know for me like the skin thing and the face thing is such a personal struggle and it's such a problem for me uh, I've had so many moments where I felt so discouraged and it's so like depressing sometimes because I hate like it's my face right so I'm looking at it all the time and I hate constantly battling it um, and so every time that I've tried something, I really just wanted it to work. Like it doesn't need to be perfect right away, but like I needed to see, I wanted to see a significant change as fast as possible because it's very uncomfortable for me to walk around and have things all over my face. So I would try something and be like, okay, like inside of a few days or a week or two, like I should see something happen and then I can continue. Like it doesn't need to be like clear, but it's like, can, I need something to happen faster. How many of you have attempted to get in shape, lose weight, whatever, insert thing, and felt exactly the same way about it? It should happen faster. Let me give it a week. Um, insert goal. Same situation. I can tell you I've heard it from everyone. So, but I just want you to start to connect the dots, okay? So you've ha made several attempts, creams, potions, lotions, oils, doctors, inserting, just like Keto, Paleo Zone, Atkins, uh, ACG, mm -hmm. uh, Fenterman, uh, Weight Loss Clinic. Even if I knew inserting. that whatever I was doing wasn't going to last long term, I just wanted like to find the one thing that would make something go fast and then I'm like then I'll tackle it working long term. And we've been dealing with this for a while. Mm -hmm. Seven years. 
right? So a lot of times, a lot of you are in a rush to do something fast. And you say to yourself, you know, I've been doing this for this long. And what I hear is I've tried 14 different diets for a week and none of them gave me the outcome that I wanted. Yeah. Same situation with her, right? Yeah. 14 different things that weren't sustainable, that did not give the outcome that she wanted. So let's fast forward. She uh, got tired, got fed up, and decided to seek professional help. Which I have before. Which you had before. The like in, doctor. Insert weight loss clinic doctor. Right. Or similar. Right. Like the last doctor I went to was literally trying to convince me to do, to take Accutane, which is like the one thing that I think like we were super against. Well, I was considering so, it. I was so like, like, well, maybe. And he's so like, let's go, a terrible so, idea. So let's go, let's go in depth, right? Because we're going to share. So she went to get blood work done. She went to see her, her primary, right? Got blood work done. Uh, what did the doctor say about your blood work? I don't remember the exact words, but it was like, I don't think I've ever had anyone in here so healthy. It was like perfect blood work, thank God. I'm not going to uh, then we did the hormonal then we did the work. hormone. Then we did the hormone panel. Totally fine. That was good too. So she finally makes it to the dermatologist. Yes. And the suggestion was birth control mm -hmm. or Accutane, mm -hmm. right? Those were the two options? Yeah. Birth control is how we got here in the first place. And Accutane. And if you don't know what it is, that's okay, don't worry about it. It's it's a drug and, and it really just messes you up. But And at the time I said, okay, I'll do it. Like I'll do the Accutane. So they were like, okay, so you have to do a pregnancy test to make sure you're not pregnant. And you got to come in here and do a pregnancy test every month. Because if you happen to get pregnant in this process, then the baby will come out deformed. Uh, you have to make sure that you are on birth control, on two forms of birth control, while you're taking this to ensure that you don't get pregnant. All in an effort to clear up her face. And this is the doctor's recommendation. You have to sign like this huge folder of papers, like basically sign your life away um, that you're not going to get pregnant and whatever, whatever. Um, and the side effects are like depression, suicidal thoughts, extreme dryness around the mouth. Uh, a bunch of other things like hair loss, joint pain, like all these other things, right? And I, I'll be honest, like I was so desperate that I was like, well, maybe I won't get any of those side effects or like those side effects are always super exaggerated and I'm not going to have a baby anyway, so I'm good. But I think what really felt weird to me was that he's like, okay, so do you want to do it? Like he was, the dermatologist was really selling me on it. And he's like, all right, she's going to gear up for it. And like clapped about it and I was like wow this is really strange like I feel like I'm entering a cult or something so I came home with a folder and I was like so this is what they told me to do and I don't think he thought it was a really good idea <laughs> I mean think about it for a second just from a logic standpoint right like it just didn't add up so we didn't go that route uh, and instead she found someone who specializes? Who's not a doctor. Who's not a doctor? Who specializes in skincare, mm -hmm. right? And what did they tell you in your first meeting? This is going to take a long time. <laughs> Why is it going to take a long time? <laughs> She's like, there's a lot of parts to this process. There are a lot of different things. There is a process involved. <laughs> there are a lot of different things that we need to tackle, and we can really only tackle one at a time. There are different treatments. There are different things. But there's nothing that you should take. Uh, there's really nothing that you can do to speed it up. You just have to be super consistent with coming, and then you have to be super diligent with the things that you have to do at home on your own. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? Yep. So when we when when she first said that, I said, "Man, that really sounds familiar. It's almost like if I say it all the time, right?" Yep. Um, and she said, "No, it's different." It's really I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do, and I told my my V is my skincare lady. I was like, I'm gonna give it six months. 
Like, I need to see a change in six months. Six months is a lot for me, because usually I do it for like a week, a week <laughs> two if I'm like really on it. I'm gonna give this six months, I'm gonna come as many times as I need to, do whatever I need to do, I'm gonna do everything I need to do on my own, like I'm gonna give it a real fair shot six months. And I said, oh wow, you're gonna give it six months. And then what? So you're gonna really try this with a timeline on it. Well, because I'm like, if in six months I see a change, then obviously I'm gonna stick to it. Six months is a good amount of time. The challenge there for all of you listening is that in her head she was going to give it six months but past experience is only a week long yeah so we are already entering a new journey with bad history on how consistent we can be right mm -hmm. but she decided that she was going to give it a while right yeah. what did i say that you should do do it right but what else did i say that you should do all of it, right? Right. So you should go You're all like, in. Go all in on it. Do Make everything. Sure, right. Go take everything. it serious. Do it. Go to every appointment. Do yeah. all the things that you're supposed to do. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, so. I'm like, I'm so excited. I have your support. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, it started to we work. We started. We started, mm -hmm. right? She got it clean, her body felt good. She really, really knows what she's talking about. She recommended me some really good products. That she does, like, she just told me to go on the website, like, this is what you need for you. She wasn't selling her on anything. She wasn't selling me on anything. Like, she just, cause that's where we, like, I started and I was like, okay, like, what do I put on my face? She's like, you don't really need much. You just need to wash and tone and put vitamin C. Like, you don't need 20 steps. Um, Almost like, don't really need need a much. And, and just try to eat your food and drink your water and work out, right? So, she told me to, um, get that stuff and I did. And I had to, you know, morning and night wash and then show up to my appointments. And I went to, what, three appointments? And is that where we're going with this? You, uh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. The questions. Yeah, yeah, three appointments. I went to three appointments in the last, like, two months. Three or four appointments. No, it's been more. It's been two months. Okay. It's been two months. It's been two months. How many times have you wanted to quit in those two months? So many. How many times? <laughs> Every have, time I see a new skin person on Instagram, I'm how, like, look at her skin. How many times have you thought it's not working All in two time. months? So you permanently feel like this isn't I working. I don't feel like this is working. Right, out. right. I don't feel like it's gotten worse, but I don't personally see a difference yet. Right. So it hasn't gotten worse. No. Uh, but you don't feel like you see a difference. I don't see a difference. <laughs> <laughs> He was like this morning, he's like, you're a terrible person. No, this started yesterday. Yesterday, so yesterday she was going to bail on her. She right, had an appointment so I had an appointment this morning. And yesterday, as I'm planning on my week, I realized I have so much going on this week. And I have so much that I want to do tomorrow, specifically Monday, right? Like envision your life. Right. You've I'm got like, a lot I'm going so on. I'm busy tomorrow. You're like, very busy. Why like, would you, like going why would you show this, up to work out? Going to do this right now is going to interfere with my day. And with everything that I've happening, it's the mm -hmm. beginning of the week, it's the beginning of the day, and the beginning of the week, and whatever. And so I texted her, and I said, hey, I'm so sorry, I have to cancel tomorrow. Mind you, I have an, I have an appointment, like two, one after the other. So one today, and one next Monday. And they're like that on purpose, because it's a two-part process. And so I said, I'm so sorry, I'm not going to be able to make tomorrow, but I will make the following one. I really have a lot going on. Uh, I really have a lot to do tomorrow and this week, so I'm really not going to make it. And what did she say to you? She said, yes, but your skin also needs the attention that you said you wanted to give it. You're not going to get the outcome that you want if you don't show up for the things that you said you wanted to show up for. And how did that make you feel? Oh, I wanted to fucking curse her out. I was so pissed. I know everyone's not watching this live, oh. but, but raise your hand whenever you're watching this. If I have ever sent you a text about, if you I really want like, to get this, this done. This fucking <laughs> bitch is going to call me out. Is she stupid? And then she got in the car and said that, that to me. I bad. I'm like, and I'm going to fucking lose my mind on this bitch. Like, <laughs> she's over here. Like, make sure you come to your facial. It's like, it's a fucking facial, bitch. Like, I need to work. I need to work out. My kid needs a bunch of stuff. Like... I can't come, I can't come. Like, you don't need to be a bitch about it. Like, that's literally how I felt. 
I was like, I'm going to tell her to go fuck herself. I am going to fire her. I'm done. I am not. How dare you call me out like that? Like, I'm fucking grown. You don't need to tell me what to do and how to do I know I want to fix my skin, but I also know I have other things that are important and that right now are more of a priority to me. And she came in the car <laughs> and said all of that. And, and then some. And then some. And I said, well, what did she say? Because she said all of that first. Yeah. And then I said, well, what did she tell you? Like, you're really upset. She says, well, if I want to fix my face, I have to show up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you mean like how I tell people that if they want to get the outcome they want, they have to do their part. Hmm, I wonder if you've ever heard that before. And how does it sound on this side when the person doesn't like that I'm telling them the truth? Yep. Hmm. It doesn't feel good to be called out because my first instinct was like, you don't fucking know how much I have. You don't know me. You don't know how much I have going on and where this falls on the list. You're not going to tell me where this falls on a list of priority. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? I was oh, pissed. Yes. Obviously, she still is a little bit. <laughs> so, sure enough, we talked about it. I said, I said, I like what she did to you. <laughs> Truth. You want to get something done. You want to fix something that is a problem. But you don't want to take time out of your day to fix it, but you're going to spend the rest of the week complaining about it. Mind you, this is my second go around with her. I, I went to her for the first time a year ago when we first moved up here. And I told her, I'm like, this is a really big problem for me. I will do whatever I need to do to fix it. And I went like twice and I never went back <laughs> till like almost a year later. Mm -hmm. And then so when I went back a year later, I'm like, no, I promise this time I'm going to, that's how I came up with the six months. I'm like, I promise I'll do everything you say for at least six months, longer if I need to. But I'm saying like, I'm going to give, I'm going to do everything I need to do. I'm going to give this a fair shot. Like I promise I'm going to do my part. So I think that that's a little bit why she called me out too, because I had already bailed. Like she's like, if, if she's out, like I'm not going to be able to reel her back in. And then she's going to come with her skin 10 times worse. And here's the thing. It's been seven years and I'm still dealing with this problem. If I had really dealt with it seven years ago, it probably would have just been done by now. And here we are two months in of a process that she was going to give six months. So my question, right, when I hear something like that is like, well, what kind of six months were you going to give it? A convenient six months? You were going to give it six months of whenever you could and expect this magic outcome to happen whenever you could do it, right? Is that the six months that you were going to? Because these are all the things that are clicking. Because I, listen, the parallel is identical. It is. Identical. She has a problem that she wants to fix. She needs help fixing it. And it requires steps, and it requires waiting, and it requires execution, and it's a struggle to execute it consistently. Mm -hmm. So she went today. Well, I responded with like, yeah, I get it, it's important, <laughs> but so is everything else in my life that I have going on. Like, I went back and forth with her for a little bit because I was not going to let it go without a piece of my mind. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to fucking go because she's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I hate when people are right. <laughs> so I went this morning. So she went this morning. And, and what is it that she said to you? She's like, oh my God, it's like a new skin. She's like, your skin looks so much better. Hmm. Do you feel that your skin looks better? And I'm like, I'm so glad you think so, because I don't notice the slightest difference at all. <laughs> she would have, you know, she's very like serious, so I don't think she would have reacted. <laughs> she didn't have much of a reaction. She's like, so... Calm. That's like when someone would say to me, uh, I know that my clothes fit better. I know that I feel better. I know that I'm sleeping better. I know that my digestion, but the scale hasn't moved yet. I was like, I believe you <laughs> because there's a similar process in my life and in my world where the professional sees it before the client. I'm like, so I believe you because you're like in the lens there and you're looking at my skin and you know, but I don't necessarily mm -hmm. notice a difference. I'm like, but I'm going to keep doing it until and inside, I see a difference. And inside, I am angry. Yeah, he's like, what is your problem? <laughs> you know, so obviously, if you are watching this and if you've listened to the whole thing, hopefully you can connect the similarities between the journey that you are on and the journey that she is on. It's right there in the window. It's outside. It's massive. Oh, shit. We always have an animal on our Sorry, what the fuck is happening? That shit is at the front door. And they're like flamingo. They're not like little bluebirds. It's a fucking 
thing. Anyway, go ahead. There are a lot of similarities between the process that she is on and the way that she feels about how fast the process should be moving and how and how far she's come versus the effort put in, the time that it's going to take, and the money, all I, the, the money I've spent. <laughs> right. So I've been wanting to share it forever because not only is what you're going through something that I understand, I I live with it, right? I can see it in a completely different perspective. And the similarities are there for most things. Most things will require work. Most things will take time. Most things will require that you go step by step, uh, which is why you see me constantly share this picture of houses being built. <laughs> because, right. because for some reason, that is a difficult concept to grasp on a regular basis. You can grasp it when you're having a good day. Yeah, Logically, I understand it. Right. Like, I'm not stupid. Like, you can, I get it. You can grasp one brick at a time. Right. right? And, and it's a process. It takes time, which is what I said in my first concept. Like, I get it. No, I get it. Like, I've been trying this so many different ways all these years, and it's never fully worked. So, like, I, I get it. It's going to take time. It's going to... I need to come to these things so you can do your steps, and I need to do whatever I need to do on my end, and I need to buy the product. Like, I get it. But then on a random day where I look at my face and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, I don't want to get it. Like, it's not happening, you know? So, and, and my thing is, like, well, and I didn't ask this, but why don't you want to get it at that moment? If you know that it's because going to that, take time, and right. you know that it's a process. Because in that moment, like, I feel like time has passed, and I'm doing what I need to do in this process. So and do you forget, why is it... Do you forget at that moment that you said you were going to give it six months? Yes. But I... I do I you said guys I forget give... how long you decided that you wanted to do you follow your process for? I said, Ever? I said I would give it six months, but I still want to see change week to week. Okay. Like, I would give it six months for it to be fixed or semi-fixed, right? Or, like, a major difference, but I'd still like to see something. Right. And what it... It is September 27th. Um, what else did she tell you? What do you mean? Like, you've got plans coming up, yeah. like, you've got appointments, yeah. right? What else did she say? What what other wisdom did she <laughs> set um, you off with? Uh, well, we have, because we're gone the whole month of December, we have a plan in place for December for when I'm gone of, like, a product that I need to use, but she had, like, she tells me, like, next week we're going to do this. Like, right now what we're doing is tackling, like, we're fighting it, is what she's calling it, right? Like, we're tackling the new acne or any acne that continuously surfaces and we're 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 minimizing pores and we're we're doing all the things that we need to do to control acne coming out and then we'll be able to handle the scars and the dark spots and all of that stuff and then we'll deal with the co the things that stimulate the collagen of the skin like you can't do it all at once like get rid of the acne and get rid of the spots and do all of it fast like everything is going to have a process and so we are kind of not cramming appointments but having enough between now and the time that we go out of town because when we go out of town like i have a specific product that i'm going to use for two months so that when i come back my skin is not destroyed so she is as she is doing the thing for you today mm -hmm. already envisioning the process mm -hmm. for the next couple of weeks and in December, which is two and a half, three yeah. months away, December, already January. mapping things out that are connected and correlated yes. to what you're doing right now. Yes. Because you can't do it all in one shot. Right. Hmm. Up until when I told her we were going to be in Miami oh. mid-November, I said when I leave for the Miami show mid-November, I'm not back here at home till the end of December, so I'm not coming back till January. And then in conversation, I accidentally said that we were coming back after marriage. She's like, oh, so you're going to be here a few days. I'm like, yeah. She's like, okay. So we need to do one treatment to get your skin ready to receive the treatment you're going to do at home in December and January. So we have like a specific plan that takes us till like the end of January. Hmm. Interesting. And it it's almost ties like you, together. It's, it's very simple. Like you can't. Fix the metabolism, burn fat, build muscle, and do all those things in one one shot. And have abs in a week or two, because yeah. you gave you gave your process two weeks if you were really gonna hope. Yeah, man, I feel like I've heard this story before. And you know what she also tells me? She's like, "Please, 
when you go to these trips and you finish your show, don't eat all the crazy stuff at once because you're going to come back over here with your face destroyed. She's like, eat it in moderation. And I'm like, I try. It's just hard. <laughs> it's a very interesting story. Yep. I really feel like I've heard it before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was, last time I went, I had like a bunch of like bumps here. And she's like, I don't understand why this happened. This is so weird. Have you changed anything? I'm like, no, I eat the same stuff. I drink water. I train. Like, and then she's like, have you changed like shampoo or anything from your hair? I'm like, oh yeah, I did change my shampoo. And then she's like, that could be it. Like, you know, it could be because it goes on your skin. And I left there and I'm like, it can't be a shampoo. Like the shampoo was on my head, not on my face. Like I'm not like men where it's like everything, you use the same soap, like very careful with it or whatever. So I messaged my hair lady and I was like, hey, you know, I think that the product that you told me to buy last time kind of broke out my face, so I'm not able to use it. Do you suggest a different one? Um, just like in case, because in my mind it's like, I don't think that it's that, but at the same time, why would I take that chance when the person that's handling my skin said it's a possibility and I'm going over there to fix my skin? Imagine if I'm doing something that's counterproductive, like it's a shampoo, right? Like it doesn't hurt. I don't think that it's it, but it doesn't hurt to change it. And my hair lady was like, that's so funny that you say that because I've had like quite a few people reach out and tell me the same thing. And mind you, this hair product is pretty pricey. Like it's not like this garbage thing that's breaking people out. Like it's, it's a really well-known, expensive brand. She's like, I had a few people say that, you know, that's happening to them too. So that probably is it. And I was like, shit, she was right. She's so smart. Interesting. So, so good. <laughs> so through observation and communication, you were able to determine that there was something that you were doing that was causing further breakout mm -hmm. along the top of your head. Mm -hmm. hmm. Wonder. But see, I would have never, would have never thought about that's that. That's not your thing. And that's mm -hmm. the problem. A lot of you are diagnosing your own thing, right? Yeah. Most of you are going to watch this video and the only thing you're going to get out of that is the shampoo part. Yeah. That's the sad part. <laughs> but, most of you are diagnosing your own thing, deciding when and where you should do something because like like she said, you're grown, right? <laughs> and who's anybody to tell you what to do? But you don't realize that everything matters, right? So when you don't have that tablespoon of peanut butter or the tablespoon of Nutella that have the same calories because you're like, well, this can't be good, right? And then I reduce it, but you haven't been consuming it. There's no reduction. And now that you said that, I remember I have... I have. I've been working on it really hard. It's not as strong as it used to be, but I have a fear of sunblock. I feel, straight feelings, I have no facts to back, and I totally get it. I feel like the moment I put sunblock on my face, I automatically get itchy and I start to break out and I get bumps and my face is going to be like disastrous. That's always how I felt. I have never put sunblock on my face. And when I started working with V for my skin, she was like, you have to wear sunblock every single day. Even if you don't leave your house, like literally the light on the phone is bad for your skin. Like you need to wear sunblock. And I'm like, but I can't. I'm like, okay, okay, I'll do it. And so I bought like a bunch of different types of sunblock. I bought a well-known brand that's for acne that is super dry. Like the moment I put it on, like it dries. Like it doesn't leave anything, right? Because People with acne feel like they can't put anything that is oily, so they put everything that's dry, dry foundation, dry um, powders, dry sunblock, because dry is what we want, because oily means acne is out, and actually it's the opposite. Dry makes your skin create more oils, because the skin needs oil, it needs moisture, therefore you break out. So it's like the eating, right? Like you don't eat enough because you're like, I'm gonna cut out this food so I lose weight but your body needs the food so it's holding on to it so it's literally the same thing so I have this phobia of sunblock like how people have with rice or whatever magic thing. where did you get that information from myself nowhere like I have no idea like when I say to somebody oh, like so I heard someone people, says, everyone everyone says like, it. I don't eat rice or I don't have to sell where do you get what people say it? Yeah. what people yeah I don't know I've always heard so to me I've always put dry stuff on my skin to not do oily which is the opposite of what I should have done and the sunblock I've never done for that reason like I understand that you have to do it for wrinkles and for sun and for all that stuff but I never been able to bring myself to do it and even till this day most days I'll do it but some days I'm just like I look at that bottle and I'm like it's not gonna happen today I cannot touch you <laughs> 
And she tells me, she's like, a lot of the stuff that we're doing for these spots, if I do this and you go out in the sun, they're going to come back. Like, you have to protect yourself. We live in Florida. Like, it's sunny. You have to always apply sunblock in the morning and in the afternoon again. And that's something that I have yet to actually conquer because of a random personal fear. Just like a lot of you have a lot of ideas or fears or whatever about the things that you are and are not willing to do, right? So I thought it was very important to share this story and I've been wanting to do it. I'm, I'm honestly glad that we waited till now because yesterday was a cherry on top. <laughs> And today, uh, when I was like, today. I don't see a difference that I was just talking about. Right. But you know, if you've watched, uh, I've done it in my YouTube and I've done it in my recent day in the life. I have talked about that specifically. I'm like, it's so crazy because my skin journey is literally mine and everyone else's fitness journey. Like, it's the same thing. And I don't think that I would be even giving it this fair of a shot if it weren't for you being a coach and for me being on the fitness side of it as well because it's... It's, it's hard like to sometimes prioritize no matter how much you want to and to listen to somebody else and all the things but without the consistency and the step by step like I'm not going to get where I want and I've been battling the same problem like for me like I said in the beginning skin is a really big problem and I've been battling it for seven years and I've gotten nowhere so whatever it is that I've done all this time clearly it's been working I don't want to battle it another seven years so here we are here we are. I feel like there's a lot of parallels, but maybe none of you do. Oh. And maybe we just Same. shared. It's like I just talked for 32 minutes. minutes. Maybe we just talked for 32 minutes and, and nothing came out of it. But um, I hope not. You know, because the the same way I can sympathize with V. With V, my with, skin lady. <laughs> uh, it is it is not easy to fight someone on the thing that they want to get done. And a lot of times, people get in their own way. Get out of your way. Step out. Let V do her thing, right? Let V execute what you said you wanted done. And then after you've done everything, which you are still not, if, if you guys missed the sunblock part, she is still not executing everything. Once you have done everything and you gave it six months, which as of right now, you still haven't done. We're, we're two months into the, that decision, but you're still not executing. You haven't been executing for six months, which is another parallel. A lot of times people start and then they consider the moment that they decided. decided when they started. You haven't started until you started executing everything for a while. That's when you started. So I missed a sunblock. I was confessing today that I've only done the mask once. How many times? Three times a week. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I'm really gonna leave this on for 20 minutes. <laughs> I can't leave this on. Wait, for 20 you're minutes. supposed to do the mask three times a week. Three times a week. Since you started. Since I started. And you've done it one time. One time. And you've been going for two months. Correct. So you should have done it 24 times. Yes. And you've done it once. Yes. And you complained. And I am supposed to put the sunblock. Which I put half of the time. I do half, half of the time. Oh, man. And I am supposed to do this is great. my whole process of washing, exfoliating, whatever, whatever, morning and night. And sometimes I only do it at night. Because in the morning I'm like, I'm clean. I just slept. Nothing's wrong. So. So. I'm doing, I'm not doing everything. Now, full confession. He didn't even know those confessions. But I'm going to do better. It's a process. Even the adjusting to it sometimes is a process. And honestly. here's the thing. Here's the thing. I will tell you. Because if I am the most consistent I've ever been, which is a win, but I'm not where I need to be yet. So and I here's can't the really thing. As a coach, I know that that's coming. Yeah. And I am prepared to wait until the person reaches the moment where they are fully compliant. Right? Because that is when we start to do the work. They may not be ready for it. Which is why a lot of you have received the text at the very beginning of our journey together that says, make sure you are patient with yourself. Not because the scale isn't moving, it's because it's going to be a while before you are fully compliant. Right? Not because you don't get to eat the foods you want. Not because this is difficult, because most of you get a meal plan and you look at it and you're like, this is never going to work. Mm -hmm. But it's because you will get in your own way because you will let a lot of the things that you've put in there block you from fully immersing yourself 
in this process, which is what you want. Yeah, totally. There's nothing I want more than to clear this space, but clearly, but two things I wanted to say to that. First, circling back to what you said, even though I started two months ago, because two months ago I went in for the first time and, and for the last two months I've showed up to the appointment, if I haven't done everything, then I technically didn't start two months ago. No. Right? Like maybe I've gone to appointments for the last two months, maybe I've been more consistent than ever for the last two months, but you really only start when you're doing everything. everything. So technically if today is the first day, which it isn't because I didn't wash my face this morning. So if tomorrow is the first day, we're put on some block, but she did it. It's very similar to like, like 75 hard, right? Like you got to read your book, drink your water, eat your food, take a picture, right? And if you don't, you start again, right? right. You got to be consistent for 75 days. Right. In, in our case, it's like, all right, you got your diet, here's your workout, you got to do your cardio, you got to do all these things every day, right? Um, I'm going to make another video about mental fatigue because I think it's a really big problem. Yeah. But you guys get tired of having to execute. Mm -hmm. Not because it's foods that are, again, not because the foods are hard, not because you can't, because she has plenty of time to do it in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, not because you yeah. don't have time to execute a lot of the things because there are ways around all of it, but it's because you, you start to find reasons why you can't. Right. And I've noticed too, if it, like my skin will look better, like, okay, my skin's looking better. That's the day where I probably won't do my morning thing. Almost like when somebody loses a little bit of weight and then they don't follow that plan. Right. Like, yeah, like, exactly. The but the other thing that I, w I wanted to backtrack to is how yesterday's episode, right, of her calling me out, and she wasn't rude, but I didn't appreciate it. After having my moment, I thought to myself, why am I getting so offended? I literally could just fire her. Like, I don't need to get personally offended, but I got personally offended because she was right. But one of the things that I realized is like, did I have that kind of reaction because it was merited or did I have that kind of reaction because it was my out? Like there's a part of me that was like, I've been really consistent for so long compared to, right? That maybe I'm waiting for the moment where you complain that I have to look at another facial, which is never going to happen or where she pisses me off or something like I'm waiting for the moment where I can say, well, that's why I didn't work because she's a bitch. So fuck you. Right? Like, so I can blame her or so I can say, you know what? Like, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it. My husband's going to kill me because I'm going to get a facial every two weeks and it's taking up too much time. Like, it's almost like sometimes we're consistent for so long and we get in our own way or we subconsciously I'm getting deep here look for an excuse or a way out without even necessarily knowing that we're doing that how many of you are waiting for me to drop the ball mess up <laughs> how many of you are waiting for that moment because i can tell you when is that moment coming babe never you guys wouldn't believe the level the level it's like my son First, my daughter. My daughter thought that one day she would beat me at something. <laughs> now my son, who is five, six, envisions the day where he will beat me. And that day's never coming. Ever, ever. I'll ever. tell you guys this, though, since we're into the coaching. And I know that I might sound biased, but I will tell you, what you have is an actual gift. Yes, you're, you've studied a lot and you've collected a lot of data with thousands of people and you've done this over and over again, but your gut, your intuition, your ability to read people, to know exactly what's actually happening, no matter what kind of text you're getting, to dissect personalities, like you to remember everything. He will open a message and ask someone how they're feeling from yesterday because he remembers, right? Like you have a gift and when you have that, you can't drop the ball. Because what you do is so, it's it's so intuitive in a lot of ways. Like V. V. Like V. She knew that it was a shampoo, or she knew that if she didn't call me out the way that she did, she took a chance there, because I could have told her to fuck off, right? That I would have find myself not coming back next week and going, losing all the work that she's done and that, we, that we've that we done, mostly her, really. That's a great point, to eventually have to start over, because the problem wasn't fixed. Mm -hmm. You didn't fix the problem. So guess what? You still got to do the thing, right? So it's the same thing, the equivalent of you, you give up or you quit on the plan or the program or the diet that you're on to find yourself still having to go through the process anyway. Yeah. Because at the end, you still want the outcome, yeah. right? So the time is going to pass anyway. 
giving up on it or quitting on it exactly. doesn't make it happen faster. The opposite. <laughs> the opposite. So it's it's crazy. This this whole skin process and journey and my relationship with V is literally this whole thing right here, which is why we've talked about sharing it so many yeah. times. Yeah, I think. I listen. We don't really share much about uh, stuff, that is, of this. stuff that isn't workout related, but I thought that this was genius. <laughs> I am having such a blast experiencing this on this side <laughs> because I honestly, I said, you're a terrible person. Literally, I walked in and he's like, so what did she say? And I was like, well, she said that like, you know, my skin is so different because from here up, like so much more clear and my pores are so much smaller and even the breakouts that I do have are so different because they're not deep and there's less of them and all this stuff and he's like that's good and I was like yeah I don't see it and he turned around he wanted to kill me he's like you're a terrible person you're a terrible client did you tell her that and I'm like yeah I told her I don't see it <laughs> so anyway we get a laugh uh, but people it's the same. It's the same. It's but it's same. all under our control, right? I have to pat myself on the back for not telling her to go <laughs> screw herself yesterday and for continuously showing up and for being more consistent than I ever have. But I also have to be very, very aware that I have not given it everything that I should and could. Um, and that's on me, right? Like in terms of what I'm doing on my end. It's a lot easier, I think, sometimes to show up to the, the main thing, like the appointment, and so much harder to do the mundane, everyday stuff. That's where the magic is. That's, what, that's where all, the magic is. You all want the magic. That the is. magic is in the And she's thing. told me, she's like, if you don't, because at night it's like four steps, and I'm like, can I just wash and just be done? And she's like, if you don't exfoliate, then these bacteria will spread, and now you have acne next to each other. And I started to, to notice that that's happened. Like, they start to come next to each other. The one turned into like four. When if you exfoliate, you know, you stop that from happening. Like she's given me reasons why I should do it that way. And this step closes your pores and that's what we want so that we don't see the pores so that when I go in with this thing, everything you've been doing at home supplements that. And so she's not randomly telling me stuff like. Right. And I'll, and I'll give you two more pieces and then we'll close because okay. we, we have to train. Yeah. Um, number one, one of the things uh, that is important for a lot of you to grasp is this. I fully support her doing that. Fully. And I can see how much is being done and not done, but I know that it's a problem, so we need to go fix it, right? A lot of times there is hesitancy or, or fight about it, right? And we were going on a walk before, she's like, yeah, most people like try to Google it. Like, I've not, done it. It's not gonna work that way, yeah. right? So, so make sure that you can articulate clearly what your thing is, so that whoever's in your circle or in your support system understands that they should be supporting what you're trying to do. Yes. One. Two, I was not aware of some of these things. <laughs> but now I will be asking at night, did you do the thing? Right? Did you, and in the morning, did you wash your face? Yes. Right? Because she certainly does it to my son. Did you wash your hands? Yes. Right? So I'm going to be, oh. did you wash your face? Um, He's always like, you've so much stuff on your face. And I'm like, I know. And that's not even half of it. Can <laughs> <laughs> you imagine? So, anyway, that's a little bit of us. It is Monday. Uh, I wish you all a great week. Yes. Execute. Kick ass. Execute like you want the outcome that she wants. Let's do it. I'm going to share this everywhere. Message, let's hold each other accountable. Yeah. I want to hear it. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.